pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. agenda adjustments, and I'll accept the motion to accept the five sets of minutes uh, listed on the agenda that you have copies in your packet. I'll make that motion. And all Second. Second Whitman. All those Can we just mention that there's going to be an amendment to the... Yeah. They all got copied out. Okay. So, so we're going to accept it as amended. As amended. As amended. Yeah. So it was Hanover and Whitman. All those in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Okay, now we have Student Advisory Council. All right, well, we had some um, activities go on during May, uh, starting with the Environmental Club, raised over $700 in donations, filling nine trucks with 45 tons of electronic recycled, recycled materials. And we also had the prom held at the Hingham Country Club with 250 students. Um, the sophomores took their MCAS exams. Just last Saturday, the BPA held a blood drive in which they collected 30 kinds of blood, mostly donated by SSVT students. And also we held the epilepsy uh, walk slash run in which we raised over $1,400 um, in memory of Zachary A. Looney. In June, the sophomores are gonna be taking their science MCAS. We're also gonna have our night of excellence on Tuesday, June 10th. Um, it honors students for their performance and growth in their academic and shop programs. Friday night, June 13th at 6 p.m. at the Music Circus in Cohasset is going to be the graduation for the class of 2013. Yep. And <laughs> what year? 2014, sorry. <laughs> and They're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do it over again. That's just a dry run. <laughs> And also, we um, have started planning the end of the year field day events. Okay. Thank you very much. Very good. Mr. Chairman, if I could ask Peyton to add one more thing to her report. Uh, 15 minutes ago, you had a different outfit on, and you have some good news to share. I'd like uh, yeah. it said for the record, please. Uh, the Lady Vikings just won their first softball game 18 to 13. Again. Yay. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Peyton's last night tonight after being two years with us here, so we'd like to say thank you to her. Yep. She's going on to Wentworth next year, right. so we wish Good. her well with that, and we thank her for all her efforts over the last two years. Thank you, Peyton. Thank you, Peyton. Thank you, Peyton. Thank you, Peyton. Uh, okay, so we, now we have the student and employee spotlight. Dr. This, Hickey. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a great, uh, a great night, and we're thrilled once again at our May committee meeting to be able to talk about uh, not only Skills USA and some just phenomenal success at that state competition, but also you'll hear uh, a little bit later after Skills USA, we'll, we'll learn a little bit more about the business professionals of America as well. So it's my pleasure to uh, introduce our Skills USA advisor who puts in countless hours for this task, Mr. Bob Mello, who's one of our metal fab welding instructors. Hey, <laughs> Um, Skills USA um, is an awesome program that's used in vocational education. Um, we had four students who actually grabbed medals this year at the state conference, two of which, which are gold, are going to go on to the national conference in June, uh, June 23rd to the 28th. Last year, one of those students actually grabbed a silver medal um, at nationals. That was James Agia. Uh, so this year, we're going back in hopes of grabbing gold. Um, hopefully, he does. Um, it all started back in March. We were at the district conference uh, down at, uh, I'm gonna correct me, Great hopefully New says, Gray New Bedford, yes. Um, Gray New Bedford, and uh, we took approximately 100 students down there. Um, from that, we had about 30 kids that moved on to the state competition, and um, that's where we grabbed full medals uh, in various competitions. So um, it was an awesome program. The kids did great, and uh, excited to be part of it. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> um, James, um, James Hoy, welding, he grabbed bronze. Um, <laughs> might I add, he, he, was, he was sick, as, as you can imagine. He had, he had tonsils that were, were the size of grapes, and I'm not exaggerating either. 
they probably still are. He's going in for surgery soon. So he, he performed very well under some very intense uh, circumstances. Um, last year's national uh, second place winner, uh, James Agia from uh, Nurse Assistant. Um, we also had Shannon Allen, who received a silver medal in uh, graphics. And, and Stephen Lee also um, received a gold medal, who will be going on to nationals in June for uh, ad design. Those are our four medal winners. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, just as I said, just fantastic news. Congratulations to all the students and their, their families. And uh, now I'd like to uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Stan Zavatsky, who's uh, one of our computer information technology instructors, and he is also our advisor to our to another very important student organization, Business Professionals of America. Mr. Zavatsky. Okay. Well, we've been around for just two years, and we've been very lucky. Where Christina had Brennan meet nationals past year, and she was because she's not doing so well, but she really did a good job there. Um, it's been a slow and steady progress for us. I mean, we only really have seven members right now. Next year, we're going to be increasing it once again. Our goal is just really to be a part of the school and part of the school culture. We've really done it for the first two years. We've been doing this since with the blood drives. Uh, we've held four over the last two years. Really want to give back to the community, be able to have our students participate in the school, especially with donating blood. Um, we'll be trying to do more like er those areas next year. Um, our growth, we're actually looking at adding graphic arts to be part of this. It's probably my shop right at this point. But we want to add more people to really participate in it. I mean, it's very similar to skills where it is a focus on leadership, giving back to the community. Um, we do have competitions um, from IT to graphic arts to accounting to, so they do on the business side of things. Um, Christina was like, she did a contemporaneous speech and she qualified and was really, we're very happy to, in our second year to get someone to go to a national competition already. Um, and I'll say, if Christina could stand up. Just. Christina, extemporaneous speech, I wouldn't ask for that now, but would you, <laughs> would you care to share any observations from your experience, of what it was like, what, what did you compete in, or some of the other activities you participated in while you were out there? Um, I just did, participated in uh, extemporaneous speech, um, but I had two minutes to prepare a speech, and then I just performed it in front of uh, three judges. And you've been part of our drama club for all uh, four years or yeah, three? Four years. So that did you draw on those uh, skills and talents? It's a secret. Out now. <laughs> all right. All right. Congratulations, that's fantastic. Great job. Right. So there are two. I mean, the, the Brennan family. Also, we can we can say thank you to Coach Heather Brennan, our science department head who is Peyton's softball coach. Well done, Mrs. Brennan. All right. uh, everybody to friendlies, there we go. On you? Hey, sure, sure, I got five bucks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, so we'll move on to the uh, reports. Treasurer, Mr. Kelly. Okay. Good evening, uh, nice to be back. I missed last month's meeting, but I'm here again. So. <laughs> the treasurer's report was sent in the mail to you, and we have a Memorial Day uh, motif on the front this time. Uh, we move on to page one, the summary of our financial position. Uh, I just want to note there's a typo on the interest rate for the Mass Municipal Depository Trust. It should be 18 basis points, not 182 basis points. But again, we continue to make uh, a significant amount of money on our investments. We made five basis points on our money market account, 18 basis points on our investment account, and almost $2 million uh, last month, we made $189. So the rates are projected to stay this way until middle to late 15. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to enjoy any additional interest. The, uh, <clears throat> the checking account is high because the next day I had a payroll. It's over three hundred thousand dollars. Usually it's under a hundred bucks at the end of the month. The last month it was seventy-four. <coughs> so 
That's the reason why it's so high. Does anybody have any questions on our summer uh, financial position on April 30th? If not, we'll go to page two, which are the revenues. Uh, and uh, the second column is what we received in a month. Uh, the town of Hanson uh, missed the, the due date of April 1st of their assessment. But we did get it on April 3rd, so that's not too bad. All right, but they were the last town to pay us our April 1st assessment. And again, the Chapter 70 money, you can see that the 318,000, again, is coming in 12 times a year, whereas in prior years it came in four times a year, quarterly. Uh, does anybody have any questions on the revenue? If not, we'll go to page three, which are the expenditures. And at this point, uh, we have closed the budget down. You know, we're trying to reallocate funds and, and take care of some needs and spend the rest of the budget. <clears throat> Item one, salaries and wages. Uh, we, we look to be okay. We're not going to overspend that because of various number of reasons, but probably uh, maybe less than 1%, a little more than 1% favorable there. It's not a lot of money, but that's good. Workers' comp, as I've been mentioning to you uh, every month, number two, uh, the $11,000 is a favorable variance because they, uh, they, they rolled the rate sooner than I thought because of some accidents we had. Item three, the unemployment payments. There's an $18,000 favorable variance there, but we're still disputing uh, $21,000 paid to an employee that we terminated. Uh, it's like dealing with a black hole. The unemployment people are not responding to us. Uh, they paid him without having a hearing. Uh, so the, the HR person has written a number of letters and we're waiting to hear back. But uh, if we lose this, then that account would become unfavorable and we have to do a budget transfer into it. Number eight, utilities, looks pretty good. I'm, I'm estimating that we're gonna have about a $20,000 favorable variance there. Number 14, payroll taxes. Again, every year this is problematical because I, I never can really guess what's going on. We're probably gonna be a negative 7,000 there when we get to the end of the year. Item 15, health insurance. Uh, at this point, I'm estimating we have a $50,000 favorable variance. Uh, I had, when I did the budget, I had expected a rate increase, and as you know, or as you remember, Plymouth County or Mayflower Group um, did not do anything. They kept it at zero, and I guess this year it's pretty close to zero too, right? That's right. They're using up their reserves, and again, uh, in next year's budget, I had projected a, a small increase, so uh, it's a good thing. Item 23, books and instructional supplies. We have $64,000 left that we're looking at reallocating to areas that need the money. Item 25, shop supplies and equipment. There's only $4,500 left, so we did a good job there uh, as far as the vocational shops went. <clears throat> 29, recruitment has a $12,000 favorable variance, and it's because we changed uh, some of the things we do on our recruitment videos. But we're looking at reallocating that money. Uh, that's about the highlights. Does anybody have any questions on, on another item I did not mention? If not, we'll go on to the, to the uh, <coughs> infamous graphs, the pie charts, and the month is, uh, again, you know, you see the revenue, you have an assessment coming in, and the Chapter 70 money, and down below, the largest piece is the Kelly Green piece, which is salaries and wages for the month. And a year to date, the next page gives you a better, clearer picture of what's going on. <coughs> you can see that the, the red part of the chart represents what the state pays us for chapter 70 and the Kelly Green piece is what the, the, uh, the towns pay us for assessments. And as I mentioned before that used to be 50-50 but you can see by the split in that pie chart that it's not 50-50 anymore. The towns are paying more of our budget. And again the bottom part shows our expenditures through April, uh, the largest being salaries and wages which is uh, five million dollars. That would be the treasurer's report, Mr. Chairman, and I have one budget transfer. As you saw here, we had uh, all these students participating in the Skills USA competition. Well, we didn't have enough money to fund it all, so I'm asking to transfer $12,000 more into that account uh, to cover the fact that we had a tremendous amount of students participating. We had to pay costs for that. Okay, I'll ask for a motion to accept the treasurer's report. Governor Kohasek, do we have a second? Rockham, all those in favor? 
Aye. And now I ask for a motion to accept the budget transfers. So moved. Piano with witness. All those in favor? Okay. Yeah, okay. We sent you the, uh, the executive summary. I, I get this. Uh, we, we hire an actuary every three years to uh, calculate what our other post-employment benefits and liability is because we're required to disclose it, and we're trying to fund it, as you know. Uh, and uh, what's happened is since the last time we did this, which was uh, in 2010, uh, the uh, the accrued liability has increased by 1.1 million dollars. It's gone from 4.4 to 5.5 million uh, liability. Uh, the reason, the major reason, is that uh, if you look at uh, the page that has a graph on it, it shows you how many retirees we have. The last time we did this evaluation, which was four years ago, we had 26 retirees. Uh, now we have 52. And they're projecting uh, as far as 69 in another 20 years, but that could change because people may decide to retire early. But I really think that uh, when you do contract negotiations, we have to try to find some way to get this OP, OPEB number down. Uh, right now, we have funded about 450,000 of a 5.5 million dollar liability. So you short 5.1. If we funded it annually. We would have to put in four hundred ninety-nine thousand dollars in the budget, which is almost five percent. Yeah, per year. It was four forty-three, but it's gone up to four four ninety-nine. But we have done, you know, you should be commended because we have done more than what most communities have. I mean, we have almost a half a million dollars put away, and when the interest rates turn up, that will be earning us money and cutting into the, the liability that's out there. It's just the, you can't earn anything on it now. Right. So I, I just would, again I. I think two things you need to do. Number one is try to get it limited through contract negotiations, and secondly, try to fund some of it every year, either by way of the budget or, or other ways. Anybody have any questions on that support? No, I just have a comment. Looking at their projections, this is almost like um, the national debt. Yeah, it, it no, grows you're right. So it's so fast, and said you would never catch it. And we're not alone. Everybody's the same way. But uh, uh, I have to agree with you uh, as far as we have to try to control our costs in our contract negotiations uh, to at least help us a little bit. And we have to take squirrel away every dime we can to put into it. Because if we don't, and it's those with wisdom decide to uh, push us on it, we and many others will actually go broke. Just my comment. Okay. <coughs> there are no other questions. The only other thing I have is that Mr. Manning and Mr. Thayer are up for reappointment, and we sent the letters out. So you should be hearing. Hopefully, uh, you decide to stay with us. All done. All done? Okay. Done last night. Good. They're reappointed. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> 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 no, I got to. Uh, subcommittee, I'd like to make the motion uh, that the school committee, I believe you all got a copy of the contract, uh, you know, make the motion at the same time that we uh, hire Mr. Jim Coughlin as the new secretary treasurer to the contract that you have before you. Uh, 
We went back and forth for the entire month negotiating uh, different things and we've come to agreement. We've updated it since the time Bob started with us without a contract. So uh, I'm recommending that we hire Mr. Jim Coughlin, the secretary treasurer, with a first year salary of $36,000 and the rest of the contract is self-explanatory. And that is without health insurance. Uh, he's chosen not to take it at this time, but does not preclude him from Down taking it in another contract. Mm -hmm. Do we have a second? A uh, second. Okay, I'm with it. Uh, Whitman. Seconds. All those in favor? It's unanimous. Congratulations. Welcome aboard. And I'd like to stand up and introduce yourself, Jim. Uh, <laughs> <Again. laughs> uh, Jim Coffin from Abington. Thank you again, Bob, for um, all your support. It's been, uh, wasn't that, the negotiations weren't that bad. No, <laughs> no. That he made it sound, but, uh, but it was just, um, I enjoyed working with um, the subcommittee, and I look forward to uh, taking over on July 1st for Mr. Kelly, who's very well respected in the world of uh, finance. So thank you. Okay. Well, congratulations. congratulations. Thank you again, Mr. Chairman. Uh, very brief report from me this evening. First up, uh, budget and stabilization article update. Uh, we have had seven town meetings. We have had seven towns vote to support our budget. So by, uh, by agreement, that means we have a, uh, an approved budget for fiscal 2015. Uh, with regard to the stabilization article, we were able, uh, again, with Abington's town meeting still ahead on June 9th, uh, with the seven town meetings that were held, we were fortunate to get uh, an affirmative vote from the required five towns. So I'm pleased to report to you that our stabilization fund article uh, was approved. And uh, when we get into the next fiscal year, uh, I'll be working with, uh, with Jim on uh, whatever it's going to take to set that up. Uh, so thank you all for your efforts in, in your communities to continue to advocate for us. Second item, MSBA accelerated repair update. I should, uh, I should know on June 4th whether or not we have been invited to participate in the accelerated repair program. If we are invited, I will be bringing you at the June meeting a motion to have you approve <coughs> us being part of the Accelerated Repair Program, and I'll be sure to explain the details to you uh, in, in advance of that. But I've been in, in contact with MSBA officials, and uh, their Board of Directors meeting is in June, and there's a very scripted uh, timeline that, that goes along with that. <coughs> so as soon as I hear, I'll inform you well in advance of the next meeting and what the next steps are. Uh, item three, uh, I want to thank uh, Bob Moeller and Kenny and Dan for attending the uh, for attending the general advisory committee meeting. I thought it was uh, I, I thought it was a very uh, a very solid, detailed discussion. Great to get feedback from our advisors. Um, the continual message there's always there's always a, a vision that we want to try to strive for, but they were very appreciative of your support in the equipment and the resources that our vocational programs have, and I thought it was a very uh, uh, culinary, of course, did a very nice job uh, with with the dinner as well. As so, always. As, as <coughs> always. Can I make a comment on that? And in the dinner, everyone that stood up and spoke about our school said how great we are, but they were all looking for one thing, and that was space. <laughs> That's Every right. one of them was space. looking for space. That's that is yep. true. <laughs> and to the fact that we can double the size of the school and we'll be at adequate space that we need. It's almost like it's too bad we couldn't go up and have all the shops <laughs> down the first floor. And it related on the second floor. <laughs> yeah, everybody wanted That's space. Right. Right. Everybody everybody wanted space. space. I have one comment on it too, and that was from uh, the gentleman from AAA, and he, he really emphasized is to have the students ready to go to work when they graduate. Uh, you know, he didn't elaborate on the furthering of the education too much, but he wanted to have them tool ready to go to go to the job, and. Uh, it's one of the things I've supported all along, and I'm going to ask Tom some questions as we get along and to answer some questions I have that I've forgotten over the years the way we used to do things. So uh, 
would be getting back to you. But uh, I had to leave early because my wife was injured and I had to go take care of her. But uh, uh, I did get that message. And he reminded me of Bill Landon when Bill Landon was uh, on the uh, advisory board, uh, having the students ready to be able to read and write and write a repair order and uh, keep track of their time and be ready to work. And that gentleman was the same way. Thank you. He did a great job. Uh, Mr. Chairman, before I turn it over to our administrators for any updates, I just want to say a quick thank you to, uh, to Jerry Blake. He earlier today participated in the Drafting Shops uh, Urban Design Presentation Program and was serving as a judge. So Jerry spent a big chunk of today here at school. Very Thanks for impressed. Doing. And I didn't get to say anything to Peyton before she left, but she had a great presentation. Smart kid, great shop, really good progress. Yeah, they did a great job. I, I agree. Thank you. And now, uh, Mrs. Dutch and, and the table, in case you want to update the committee on, on anything. I know Peyton talked about a lot of school events, so. Yeah, I, think, I think Peyton covered all hey, our school still events. Still on Monday. Uh, Except the graduation. <laughs> I wasn't clear on the graduation. <laughs> <laughs> it would be the class of 2014, graduating on Friday the 13th. Um, yep, we are, you know, I think Peyton covered it all. We did do the one new thing this year, I would say, is NCAS that's coming up in June for the Ninth and tenth graders. This will be the first year that our ninth graders have taken the science and uh, We usually give it in the tenth grade. Mm -hmm. So this year we will be testing the ninth and the tenth graders. So um, we'll be testing about 300 students on June 2nd and 3rd. But I think that's all that's new. I, I, I think you're selling yourself short. You, 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 you folks pulled off uh, something this past weekend relative to our incoming freshman well, that's, class. That's Mr. Arbor. <laughs> oh, don't be shy. That's <laughs> the park, Dama. Uh, with um, Mr. Dinicky's help and also Ellen Whittier, who is our um, SPED coordinator, the three of us met with approximately 80 families that are, are incoming eighth graders who are going to be ninth graders next year. Uh, the students were taking. Um, not, not placement tests, but knowledge tests so we can gauge what they know and what they don't Benchmark know. Testing. Benchmark testing. So we engage what they know and what they don't know. And at the same time, we had the parents down in our lecture hall so we could kind of introduce ourselves, talk about what our missions are, what our goals are, what we expect from their students, what we expect from them, and start building that four-year relationship. And hopefully for many of these families, much more than four years because they'll send more children here and keep us all busy. <laughs> forever. <laughs> I just to add something to that, Tom. I was up at a baseball field, which is where I'm usually at now, <laughs> at nights, and I had a parent approach me and ask me, are you still a member of the South Shore Board? And I said, yeah. And I'm like, okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, um, she was part of that group that you guys hosted just past weekend, and she couldn't say enough about your presentation and how well the communication uh, was between you and the parents, and it was refreshing because they don't get that from the town, my particular town. Um, so I just wanted to commend you on that. And that's, that's the feedback I get when I do speak to people that send their kids here, that you guys are doing a great job. And I just think it needs to get out there more. But uh, excellent. Thank you. And, and again, what, what is beneath the surface to this, to this <coughs> event that, that Mark described is an admissions process that starts very early with recruitment. The fact that we have uh, the fact that we have confirmed acceptances from a 166 eight 166. <laughs> as, long as, as long as the first number isn't an eight, that would be a problem. 160. We now have 168 confirmed acceptances for our incoming freshman class, and we know that today on May 21st means we start the relationship earlier where we can get IEPs earlier, we can build a profile of the kids coming in this building, and as Jerry pointed out, the parents get a sense of what to expect. It makes for a very enjoyable summer as they plan this important transition. But that doesn't just happen overnight. That, that's not a casual thing. We set this as a goal a long time ago. You folks pulled it off. Great job. Great job. Anything else? Thank you. Nope. <laughs> Want to go out on top? There we go. Yeah, that's enough. Hey. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I might just say that under unfinished business, this, the, this is the second month for the mathematics textbook. And if I may, under new business 8A, sure. uh, I'm looking for a motion to, uh, based on the, the document in your handout, uh, 
to approve the adjustments for the student handbook for 2014-2015. I'll make that motion. Panel will. Abington. All those in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll turn the rest over to you. Okay, so now we got the textbook adoption. Yeah, just the, the uh, sorry, just the first month for a machine shop textbook. Okay, well, it's just the first month. Uh, out of state field trip, Skills USA National Competition, Kansas City, Missouri. I was there last year. I need a, uh, a vote to approve that out of state. I'll make the move. Go ahead. Make the motion, please. Enhance and second. Yes. All those in favor? Aye. Unanimous. And the next item is surplus equipment, drafting, assorted textbooks, and social studies, assorted textbooks. I'll make the motion that we uh, surplus the uh, assorted okay, textbooks. Motion to handle them. Second by Abington. All those in favor? Unanimous. Okay. Warrants. Ken? Warrants for approval. Warrants 20 and 21. $853,490.72. <coughs> Do we have a second? Second. Second Whitman. All those in favor? Unanimous. Okay. Request for action. If I could. Yep. I just want to take a moment and thank the school and the school committee for their kindness and sympathy cards and flowers on the passing of my mother. Um, it was very well, uh, uh, very appreciated by my family, and uh, it's a pleasure being part of this family. So thank you all. Okay, I have a request next month's meeting, if we could move it up to, say, 5 o'clock so that we can all... I'll uh, make the motion. Okay. I'll second it. Go ahead. Uh, excuse me, Nolwell and Hanover. All those in favor? Aye. Unanimous. So next month's meeting will be at 5 p.m. I think we got a little thing of it this time. Yeah, yeah. 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 She can make the motion. She's Nolwell, Hanover. Mr. Chairman, if I could I add one other thing under Certainly request for action. <laughs> I, I neglected to mention uh, members of the committee in your correspondence file just to bring to your attention. There is a spiral-bound copy of the, the, the decennial NIAS report. There is no action to take tonight, but I just wanted to give you a heads up that this is the year and a half's worth of work the faculty put in. We had that visit back in October, and so the, the commission voted to continue our accreditation. Uh, the report uh, was just uh, released, or we were authorized to release it just a few days ago. I'll be putting this on the agenda for the June meeting to provide my own overview of, of the highlights. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other business? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. With many seconds, I has it. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Almost, almost a rocket.